Well, new this morning, is that tank in the distance real or a special effect? It's kind of both, hmm. and it's right here just outside of Boise. Nowadays, we all know visual effects teams can make just about anything look real in movies. The Idaho National Guard took note of that and contracted a Hollywood company to raise the stakes of their training scenarios. Hmm. Our Chase Beefalt went to check out a new program at the Orchard Military Training Facility who's experimenting with this. Train as you fight. The Idaho Army National Guard is taking that philosophy to a whole new level. When you're at a distance and it's driving over the mountain, the silhouette's almost exactly like a T-72 battle tank. It looks like a real tank, but it's not. They're strapping biz mods or visual modifications to Humvees. It's pretty awesome. It's like driving a Humvee, but it has a lot more like weight to it and it has great visibility even though it is still mostly covered up by the turret. The purpose? Making it real. Having the training as real as possible really helps us as units train to be the best. To buy a tank or to maintain a tank is extremely more expensive than it is to buy a kit and put it on a Humvee and maintain the Humvee. So we're trying to get as realistic as we can and be as cost effective as we can. The Orchard Combat Training Center houses 12 Viz mods, six T-72 Russian battle tanks, and six BTR-90s. You could say they have plenty of bells and whistles. The main gun fires at oxygen and propane to where it makes a big loud boom. Same with the 50 cal. The turret rotates 360 degrees. It has a smoke uh, signature on it. It also has heat blankets to where when you're looking through thermal optics, it looks the same as a T-72 battle tank. The National Guard's installation support unit assembled the biz mods in November, but the military isn't responsible for the design. West Effects, a company out of Hollywood, California, that's a special effects company, designed and made these, all under contract from the National Guard Bureau. West FX has worked on movies like Taken with Liam Neeson and the James Bond series, but they don't just work on action movies. <laughs> they said they, they basically have a pretty interesting life. One minute they're in the boardroom with a bunch of generals and the next day they flew and did a, a music video for Snoop Dogg. The Orchard Training Center will be home to the National Guard Bureau's XCTC. That's short for Exportable Training Combat Center. It's a platoon level, small unit level training to where we can send guys out in the field. They can fight and react to a realistic enemy and see how they react and then they're graded on that and they get feedback from the National Guard Bureau on how they did and what they can improve on. The Vismods haven't been used for training yet. The Guard is eagerly waiting to start the program. The first time I saw them, we did a site visit down in California to West FX and it, it realistically blew my mind what they were capable of doing and what, what it looked like. They're miles ahead of what we were using as far as realistic combat training. From the Orchard Combat Training Facility, Chase B. Felt, Idaho's News Channel 7. It's kind of an unlikely cross, you know what I mean? Yeah. You would never really think that those two industries would work together, but it's no. working. It makes sense. No, yeah. it, 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 they seem opposite, right? Because one's all about realism, being as real as you can, right. and then Hollywood's all about think, making you think it's real, and so it was just a perfect opportunity for those two entities to really just come together and work together, and it, it did look real and it sounded And now real. they're just waiting for the opportunity really to start having our groups come in to start training with Yeah, them, they've right? had those there for three months and they, they put them together, the, the installation support unit just put those together with F West FX and um, you know, they've just been waiting for the opportunity to use them and they, they pulled them out specifically for us. So that was, that was pretty from fun to distance, do that. they look yeah. real. Yeah. Well, and they can come, people can come from anywhere. Military can come from anywhere around the country right. and use these here. Yeah, because it's a training facility. Right. It's not like a, it, it, it gets technically a military base, but it, they use that base to train. To train, right. So, yeah. And it took you a long time to get security it clearance for it. It took weeks and weeks and weeks. We first heard of this story from a <laughs> from a publication in California talking about West, West FX, FX, more on the Hollywood side. Right. And then we were like, okay, well, that's right here at home with the Idaho National Guard. Let's yeah. let's try to go down there. They had to and run it up the chain of command. Yeah, right. <laughs> all the way to D.C. Always, so, always. Yeah. Well, well right. I'm glad you got access to it. That was really yeah. interesting. It was fun. Yeah. It was really right. fun. Thanks, Thanks a lot, Chase.